All right, look. There were some unfortunate series of events that made me come to this. One, I got a bad haircut. Two, the bad haircut doesn't want to cooperate with me. So now I look like Megamon with Lil Huddy's hair. Yeah, it sucks. I mean, jeez, man. The hood doesn't help it either. With the hood, I just look bald. I'm gonna look bad regardless. And I've just kind of come to like, I've come to accept it, you know? Also last week, guys, I didn't post a whole lot of videos. That's because uh, a big folder that I had a bunch of footage in just disappeared. Just poof. Houdini. Gone. I don't know what happened. But uh, yeah, I spent like three whole days just trying to like get it back and it didn't work. It sucks because there were some bangers on there. Oh, I can't stop looking at it. Mm. Okay. Today though, we're going to focus on the upcoming Super Bowl. Two of the greatest tight ends in the game. George Kittle versus Travis Kelce. Who can get a 99-yard touchdown first? As you guys know, the Super Bowl is this Sunday where the 49ers are taking on the Chiefs. Travis Kaus is on the Chiefs, George Kittle is on the 49ers. Now, they're both the top two rated tight ends in the game. George Kittle a 97 overall and Travis Kelce a 96 overall. Who we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting off with George Kittle. Once George Kittle gets his 99-yard touchdown, we're going to switch him and Travis Kelce out. We'll keep everything else the same to keep it as even as possible. The number of attempts at the upper left-hand corner, as you can see right there. Here we go in attempt number one. Uh, George Kittle, he's got that X factor, let's see if we can get it activated, maybe get him a touchdown on attempt number one, gets the throw off, he's got a lot of guys trying to tackle him and he's gonna be brought down. Attempt number two, George Kittle's gonna go out to the right side, short and sweet, gets the catch, gets a juke, no he doesn't. Attempt number three, he's got a drag route across the field, he's open, he's got the catch, he's got the speed, he's got, that's about it, that's about all he got. Attempt number four, now I'm no pro NFL expert, but could this be a prediction? Does this mean that if George Kittle wins, the 49ers are going to win? And if Travis Kelce wins, the Chiefs are going to win? I don't know, but attempt number four, we're going to have to find out right here. George Kittle got the catch on the left side. He's got some running room. He doesn't have the fastest speed. He's got a stiff arm. He's still standing after that. Another stiff Oh, nope, not another stiff arm. It's at number five. He's going short. Wow. At number seven, and my man's wants that touchdown with this route. I mean, holy crap. Jimmy Garoppolo stayed in bounds, and he doesn't have the catch. Attempt number eight. My man is going short to the right. We're going to get the catch. No block from Debo Samuel, but George Kittle doesn't need blocks. Look at the man go. He said attempt number eight. I will take it myself if he can outrun this guy. Holy crap, that was close. I could feel him tickling my ankles. So attempt number eight. George Kittle took a small play, and he turned it into a big one. We've seen him do that throughout this season. So he takes a juke onto that guy, breaks off of these two guys. Finally, we get a block just barely from the wide receiver over there. And George Kittle takes this ball down the field. Now, he's not the fastest guy. He is a tight end, you know. This guy, holy smokes, he was close. But George Kittle stands strong and gets it on a tight number eight. Just like that. And the opposing enemy has stepped into the building. Travis Kels is now in. Everything is set up the exact same way. Here we go on attempt number one for Travis Kels. Jimmy Garoppolo, what are you doing? Obviously, that doesn't count. Attempt number one now. Here we go. Travis Kels. Uh, bada bing. Bada. Give him it. Catch on the run. He's got the catch. Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, Travis Kels is one overall less than... Uh, George Kittle, but that play you wouldn't be able to tell so holy crap. He's got the stiff arm Oh, the, he's not the fastest guy in the world though And he's gonna get caught up to by the defense attempt number three We've got to throw this one quick and quick indeed, but Travis Kels is not quick So that didn't turn out good attempt number four Travis Kels guys Let me know down below who you think the better tight end is. Oh my gosh. Attempt number five. Let's see if Travis Kels can turn a small play into a big one. Nope. Attempt number seven. Now, Travis Kels absolutely has to get it on this attempt in order to tie with George Kittle. He does have his X factor. He wins aggressive catches versus single coverage. Let's see if Travis Kels can beat George Kittle with one attempt. He's going to truck that guy, and then he's going to be trucked. Frick. Attempt number eight. He's got a good route here. He can still tie it with George Kittle right here. He's going to get the catch and he's going to still stand tall, but he's going to be brought down. Frick. Attempt number nine. Can he make a short play? Big one. Like George Kittle. He breaks that guy off him. He breaks that guy off him. He doesn't break that guy off him. Travis Kels is wide open in the field. He's going to get juke on that guy. Oh, I thought he was going to break free. Attempt number 11. He is going deep. He is the intended receiver. Travis Kels, one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to win this catch. He won it, and he got tackled. Frick. That's out number 12. I feel good about this one. Travis Kels, he's going to get that catch, and he's going to get tackled. 
to number 17. Can you get the freaking touchdown already, Travis? It's taking forever. Get away from him. He's still standing. Ah! To number 19. That's exactly how old I am, ladies and gentlemen. And he's going to get the catch on the run. Break a tackle. Break a tackle. And he's not going to break that tackle. Travis Kelce has now lost his X factor due to missing the last uh, play. But attempt number 22. He's looking for redemption. Get to the outside or don't. Either way. Doesn't matter. Attempt number 23. He is going pretty deep. The defense seems to be blitzing. And he might be wide open. Get a juke. Break off of that. And get down the field. Juke. Attempt number 23. This play is about to be as big as my forehead. Oh my gosh, he's not gonna get it. He's not gonna get it. He didn't get it. Are you kidding me? Attempt number 27. Can we get it on my number? My attempt right here. Attempt number 27. Bada bing, bada wait for it, wait for it. Throw it to him, Jimmy. Aggressive catch. He gets it. No, he doesn't. But the second time, he still doesn't get it. Attempt number 30. Travis Kels has his X Factor back again. He's wide open. Get the catch. Get down the field now. Or don't. Frick! At number 31. Now, this is making me angry because with a wide receiver, you'd be gone. You get the catch, you run. But with these guys, it's just like they get the catch and then they get down because they don't have the speed. Truck him. Okay. Now, run. Okay. Run. Keep on running. Oh, my gosh. I just got done talking about how you can't run. And now you want to run on a toe number 31. Ah! So a little bit longer our second time around. Travis Kels gets into open field with this one. Gets the catch. Runs this guy over. Realistic. Breaks off. Of, see, that's what they're good at. Breaking off tackles. Breaking off tackles. But when it comes to running, they're not the best. But he did, however, stay in front of the defense here and got the touchdown on attempt number 31. So there you guys have it. It took George Kittle 8 attempts and it took Travis Kells 31 attempts. And I'm not saying George Kittle was better than Travis Kells in any way at all. This is just a fun challenge that we did for fun. Maybe this is a prediction for the Super Bowl. I don't know. Do you guys think the 49ers are going to win? Do you think the Chiefs are going to win? Do you think George Kittle is going to do better? Do you think Travis Kells is going to do better? Either way, there's no denying that these are both two fantastic teams and both two fantastic tight ends. All right, guys. I had a good time making the video. Hope you get them watching. As always, leave a like, subscribe, and comment on us your next guys if you have any barber recommendations to get my haircut because it looks like a freaking mess right now uh let me know <laughs> i know i have a big forehead you don't have to comment about it it really it doesn't hurt my feelings but you don't have me <laughs> let me get it back to back with travis Kells before i leave here we go bada bing bada get it 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 okay get oh my gosh he might get it oh okay he didn't get it all right i'll see you guys in the next video and <laughs> goodbye but, i mean it's big but it's not that big <laughs> Come on, come on.